guys, welcome to the Daily Dharma Wheel with David. Very interesting synchronicities this morning. It's been kind of crazy. The phone stopped, like I ran out of power, all kinds of synchronicities with that. And we'll talk about that as we go through the reading. Aries, you have lessons to be learned today. Today, you're going to be learning some things. Okay, we've got teacher-student relationships going on, mentor-disciple type energy here with this three of double Vajras, this three of cups. Okay, here in this tarot, there's a lot of teacher-student energy going on. So there's lessons to be learned. Who is your teacher? Is it going to be the divine? Is it going to be somebody actually in your environment? Okay, or are you going to be the teacher teaching other people some things today? Okay, this is all about lessons, about lessons and about you working with others to get those lessons out. Okay, there's paperwork involved, all kinds of stuff. Maybe it's a paperwork day for you today, Aries. Maybe you're sitting down with others and getting some very serious paperwork done. Okay, so, you know, what are these lessons that are learned, lessons that are being taught, paperwork that's being handed back and forth, okay? It's really busy, busy, busy energy for Aries today. Coming in for Taurus, okay, you've got the card of divine union, okay? This is the minor arcana lover's card, the two of cups or the two of double vajras, okay? This is two fish swimming upstream together, heading towards the spawning grounds, okay? Or they're jumping jumping for joy and union out of the water. Woohoo! We did it, okay? Um, what is this union, okay? It doesn't have to be some type of romantic union. It could be your job, okay? I'm a Taurus in Venus, and I love my job, okay? I get to wake up every day and, and do this and be with you guys. This is me waking up, and this is the beloved earthling and beloved off-worlder collective and this is us jumping for joy every morning with our daily dharma wheel look at these two wheels spinning <laughs> okay so what is this that has you jumping for joy taurus what is this union this type of union okay i'm seeing also i'm seeing more paperwork i'm seeing interviews i'm seeing maybe you're going for a new job and you're getting it go for it taurus here's some extra blessings for that yeah. taurus is working for something with somebody uh-oh got something in the works gemini the peacock flies in and he struts his stuff, spreads his feathers. But is he coming to spread his feathers to bring a message of, hey baby, yo, what's up? No, the peacock is coming to change poison to medicine because this peacock is a sorcerer. This peacock is a knight, this knight of wands, and he's a very magical knight. And he comes in with his wand, his peacock feather wand, and he comes to do an exorcism. And he comes to do a cleanse and a healing, okay? And to change poison to medicine. Back in the old days, it was thought that the peacock ate all things poisonous and that's what made his plumage so beautiful the peacock is also seen as the phoenix rising from the ashes okay have you been burned recently gemini has, has your world come crumbling down have you had a tower moment okay and just everything's like oh wow devastation complete utter devastation okay it's just everything's burning and smoldering but uh oh look within that devastation we find a phoenix egg and it immediately hatches and boom out comes the phoenix rising and it flies off into the horizon that's you, Gemini. Time to be that phoenix. Here's our first interesting synchronicity. The Ten of Wands or the Ten of Lotuses. Okay, now here's this. We have the wheels turning with all this creative, all these creative passion and energy. These lotuses that have been planted. Okay, now they've come to seed and, and fruit and flower at the same time because that's what the lotus does. It's human potential. Okay, it seeds, it flowers, it fruits at the same time. But if we hold ourselves back, it's like we're stuck in this. Look at this trap. Okay, here's the Ten of Wands, Ten of Lotuses. But, but this person is trapped by their passions, okay? They don't feel like they could do it. Really, Cancer? Hell yeah, you can. Look at me, I'm a Gemini Cancer, and I'm doing it, okay? But even still, the cards say there's more that I have to do. When I woke up this morning, I started with a reading from uh, Zeta Zuri down in Australia. And she pulled, it was a Cancer reading, and the Ten of Wands came up for Cancer. And she was like, hey, this came up for Leo too, and I'm a Leo rising. Okay, so here's that first synchronicity. Bang, Cancer, Ten of Wands, Ten of Lotuses, just as Ada Zuri said. Okay, and bam, here I am pulling it up too. First synchronicity. Okay, so free the freak. Burn those matches down and let yourself be you. Okay, don't let people's opinions hold you back. Okay, they don't know who you are. They don't know what you've been through. Okay, and you have a unique gift to bring to the world. And if you don't bring it, you're going to keep yourself feeling stuck. Okay, so, Leo, <laughs> We get to you. Light that match. You need some crystal and some candle magic going on. There's a new beginning coming for you. A new beginning for Leo. It's a fiery new beginning. Okay? It's going to be stable. This is a new job, possibly. This is new stuff in the home. Okay? Maybe new physical beginning for you. New workouts and such. Okay, this is 
you feeling good, getting good, doing it, and doing it well. Okay, but make a wish, because this is a wish granting jewel to send to money. The Sentamani, sitting on a lotus pad on fire, is ready to deliver you a gift, fire sign. So make your wish. And it is granted. Whoosh. Whoosh. Wish granted, Theo. Go for it. Virgo, you got a Garuda. Half man, half bird, half woman, half bird. An archangel who brings this magic double Vajra that acts as a ninja star and it cuts off the head of the Vasukis. Okay, but this Garuda knows you don't just cut off the head of the Vasuki, you destroy the head completely. Okay, because an angry snake, a Vasuki, you cut off its head, it'll still attack, it'll still try and bite you. Okay, but this Garuda knows better. Archangel Raphael, the healer. This Venusian energy, this Green Ray energy, this Heart Chakra energy, this Knight of Cups coming in to deliver this message. What kind of a message is it? Are you delivering the message, Virgo? Are you going to be that Knight of Cups for somebody? Having this heartfelt message to deliver? Hmm. Let's see. Are you going to be that Garuda coming in to kill the angry snake and save the day? Really? Go for it. Virgo, you're a badass. Heck, because even in some readings, I've seen we've got to be like Virgo this year. 2021. The Garuda. Coming in for Libra, the wheels are not turning in your favor. You guys know I keep it real, and now we gotta talk about the wheel. Check this out. Whatever you're bound to is bringing you down. You become bound, and it's bringing you down. And that's what the cards are asking you. What is bringing you down? You let yourself get too vulnerable. Vulnerability is a superpower, but even a superpower has a weakness. And a lot of times that superpower's weakness is itself. You got too vulnerable with somebody or something, and they use your superpower against you because you allowed yourself to get completely naked instead of having the proper boundaries. Divinity lifts you up with no binds. But malevolence will bind you and bring you down when you don't have boundaries. This is a card of boundaries. And they're asking you to build yours, Libra. Scorpio, where's the joy? Your rooster's not singing. What's going on in the hen house? You're having to keep a lot of things in order at work and at home. You got a lot of jewels that you're having to polish and get ready. A lot of hens you have to look over. Okay, maybe these are eggs. These centamani, these wish granting jewels, these are all eggs in your nest. And you're having to really protect them and guard them. What's going on in the home and the business? Are you upside down trying to keep all these different nests in order and protected, rooster? Yeah, they've come to snuff the rooster. Is there a fox trying to get in your hen house? Build your protection from malevolent infection. Don't let those eggs get stolen. Sagittarius, your energy's dropping. Your horse has fallen. The spirit horse has come in to bring you out of the darkness. Because the spirit horse sees that your energy is low. Low, low, low. And the spirit horse wants to pick you up out of that. Okay? Artak's not going to sink in the mud, you guys. We're going to pull Artak out of the mud. It's the never-ending story. We're going to change that shit. <clears throat> so raise your vibration, Sagittarius. Raise your vibration. That's what this card asks you to do. Stand firm, get yourself grounded, and raise your vibration, Sagittarius. We're going to get Artak out of that mud. Okay? Because we're going to change the never-ending story. <clears throat> Capricorn, you got the card of purity. The Sakti of Lotuses. Here she comes in with two peacocks to change a lot of poison to medicine. And bring new lotuses, blue lotuses, into your pond. These blue lotuses represent the mind and wisdom. Keeping your passions in check. Okay? Not letting your passions overrun you. So this is you. Purifying yourself. Happy birthday to all my cappies this week. I got a lot of cappy birthdays this week. Literally back to back to back to back to back. Like every day this week is a Capricorn birthday. So happy birthday to you all. I love you all so much. Purify yourselves this week. It's your week. 
Aquarius, guard yourself. This is the card of energetic vampirism. Maybe someone's trying to steal your jewels. Okay, or maybe you're being too guarded. You're protecting these little bitty jewels that have lost their value and you've got these big jewels trying to drop in. Okay, but you just can't see them because you're so busy staring at your little bitty jewels. Oh, this is a pretty, pretty one. Oh, this one's so pretty. Meanwhile, Divinity's like, I got some big ass jewels that need to be cut down and polished and worked. So it's time to put the other jewels away. Or maybe the jewels that you have are so powerful, so potent, that these other jewels just don't matter. What's going on? What are you guarding, Aquarius? Are you guarding or are you hoarding? That's the question we ask ourselves today. Pisces, doubt the tragic dragon, feeds on hope and fear. Doubt the tragic dragon. At 11-11, it's nine of swords. Nine of double va or nine of single vajras. <clears throat> Doubt the tragic dragon can eat the sun and the moon. Okay, but if we keep our hope and fear in check, we can't get to them. Hopes and fears both feed the same dragon. The dragon of anxiety. The dragon of the mind. This dragon can't be killed, but he can be put to sleep. And this is you putting your anxieties to sleep, so you can get some sleep. This card keeps you up at night all the things that fill you with fright. Well, nah, we've come and turned it around and showed Doubt the Tragic Dragon that everything is going to be alright. You got this, Pisces. No more doubt for you. All your dreams are coming true. Bonus card. Pama Dakini reversed. The Dakini who does not feel like dancing. The Dakini who sits down. Okay, we were talking about messages coming in from down under. First one was from Zeta Zuri, a Dakini from down under. Brilliant. Dakinis are enlightened fairies. Highly enlightened. And they bring serious messages, passionate messages. And her message was about that Ten of Wands, Ten of Lotuses. Well, my phone crashed on me. I, I lost memory and had to start the reading over again. And in the process of resetting myself, I watched a video. I looked at YouTube and bam, there's another Dakini from down under, Abigail Wainwright, literally wearing red and doing an activation. So check out her latest video on activations. Check out Zeta Zuri's video for all my Cancerians especially. She's got important messages for us that go beyond what I'm saying. We're working together, collaboration over competition. These Dakinis down under are brilliant. There's another one named Bridget. I gotta find her link. Um, Light resonance with Bridget, that's the other Dakini. She connects with the Arturians, amazing. So these Dakinis down under have a lot of messages for us up above, especially for us divine masculine. We've got to listen to these Dakinis. We pissed them off. We pissed off our divine feminine collective. And now they're sitting down, and they're not dancing. They're sitting down to bring us messages. And we better sit down and listen to the woman. Relax into the feminine. This Dakini also speaks on love. Her father is the Buddha of love. Her mother is the, is the Sakti of love. This is her mother purity and she's come to speak on purity also and allowing more love in this Dakini is the awakening of love and look it's getting blocked you guys especially for us masculine allow more love in allowing love in will shorten the distance allowing more love will shorten the distance okay this Sakti Mary Magdalene her husband Yeshua their daughter Sarah and Sarah comes in with a message from Lord Sananda, who is Yeshua, and Mary Magdalene combined in divine union. And she comes in with this message, allowing more love will shorten the distance. So let's allow more love in our hearts, more love in our lives. Okay, let's keep it a balanced love though, not that crazy, unbalanced, obsessive love, but let's keep it a balanced, healthy love, compassionate love, loving kindness. All right. And I love you guys. Thank you all so much for your support. Schedule your sessions today. As you all know, I'm super booked. There will be no weekends available in March, from March to July. Anyways, love you guys. I'll see you. Allow more love to shorten the distance.